Okay. Ready to start again, y'all. <laughs> Having some technical difficulties. That's okay. Um, so yeah, I did, can't figure out what I did to my MooBot. So I accidentally closed my stream software, which is totally what I didn't want. It. I'm coming over here. Then I can remember how to do a transition. I think I need to do this right here. Okay. Cool. Then that's the live screen. That's the edit screen. And if I do this, hit transition. There we go. We're back in it. Okay. So this is our um, our setup for Mountain Blade 2. We're already in the middle of a game. And I'll explain that in just a second. I want to do that my chat is okay. It's okay. And Moobot, I'm just going to give up on because it's not going to work. But, sorry, buddy. I have to probably log out and log back in. It's been such a long gosh darn time. And I should probably do a Discord. Working? Oh wait, I think I fixed Moobot. <laughs> hey. And hey. Hey y'all. Didn't work. That's okay, like I said, I'm, I'm totally ignoring it because I can't get here. So, not that that'll matter at all, but, um... I... Page there. Manage. There we go. Okay, now we're not going to close the windows that keep open. We're going to do that. Rather than close this, I'll just right there. This, where I'm at, I'll this, okay, okay, all right, so let's go to the game, <laughs> if we can, okay, so here it is, um, not sure how well this will, but I hope it'll stream, uh, we're, my character is named Edmund, Edmund is uh, a big dude. I think he's Batanian. He's got the uh, Highlander gear on. Um, and this is my character so far. Four in Vigor, three in Control, two in Endurance, three in CNG, the name of that. Uh, four in Social, four in Intelligence. I've been working my way up. So one-handed, he's got just one more point away for uh, unlocking another perk. Then, uh, let's see, um, inventory is all the standard jazz. There's Edmund. We only have one companion. Companion is Shannon the Boar. Uh, he's a fighter guy. We've got uh, armor for him. And uh, this is our party. We have Shannon up here to mix to me. Level 15. I'm level 8, I guess. And then I have, um, I've built up my characters, my party. I've only got 25 troops out of a possible 62. And let's see, I've got a legionary, um, Sturgian Ulfhednar, Imperial Palatine Guard, Kuzate Marksman, Landian Arm Trader, Sturgian Retreat, Imperial Caravan Guard, that's my mounted horseman. Put him at the top. An Imperial Arm Trader. I just kind of got this guy when I rescued somebody else. Um, but anyway, and then the quest, this is the main quest and I'm having a hard time doing it, but because I was going to be playing this game anyway, I might as well figured I'm going to stream. So, uh, investigate Neretez's folly. This was a big battle back in the day and you're trying to, 
I don't know, figure more out about this banner we received? And we're talking to all of the nobles that know something about the battle. Talk to Monchug, Rag Raganvad, Penton, Lutzon, Regea, Kaladog, Durthurt. And uh, we've got 7 out of 10. i got to find 3 more guys. And it's not just nobles, it looks like it's kings. Because these guys are, are pretty high up in the ability of their various kingdoms. This is my clan. Edmund is me. Niacin, my brother. Um, these are my uh, my little brother and my little sister. So, and they're just chilling out at Lycaron. I've freed them already. Athene and Farouk. So, and this is the guy who's with me. So, no parties, no fiefs, no nothing. Land tier one, working our way up to two. Uh, let's see. Uh, total income zero coming in from like uh, kingdoms and and fiefs and whatnot. But we spend about 300 gold per day, and right now we're sitting at 7,000. And just about now, we're almost pretty darn close to tracking down 28 looters. We have uh, 25 people in our party who are ready to fight, So, and we're right next to Dunglanis. Um, but let's just get into the battle, see how this goes. Here's the, uh, here's the looter. Looting is uh, uh, against the law in these parts. So he, uh, he asks us, you got a problem? Not if you give up now. If not, prepare to fight. He says, you'll never take us alive. And we say, okay, then we're going to attack you. That's how it goes. Um, the looters always decide to fight. Okay, arrows. Arrows! Let's go up on the hill. Move! Move! Move, man! And face, enemy! face the enemy. Okay, and then infantry. infantry. Over here. Move! I want you guys to shield forward. Shield wall. And my cavalry Wolf guy. Forward. You can come up here with me. That's my my basic arrangement for this battle. And there you can see all the looters coming in. And let them come in. Rain arrows on their head. And now let's send in the cavalry. So, hor cavalry! horsemen, Attack! charge. And already we got some runners. Um, footmen, footmen also attack. Okay. Ah. We've already won this battle. We've already won. We're having a hard time finding a challenge. Just pick these guys off with arrows. I know life in the Middle Ages is tough, but turning to a life of crime is not the way. Hey, that's my companion guy. 98 damage. And another one. Is that it? Is that everybody? That's it. We got them all. All done. Okay. So we'll hit tab. And we get a summary. Plus uh, 2.3 renown, 1.7 morale. This is our party. Um, we've gained a little bit in bow, and we hey, we got that extra point in one-handed like we wanted. So let's go ahead and uh, if uh, we can send some points here. We'll take eight prisoners, eight looters. We'll upgrade our Sturgian recruit into Sturgian warrior. Turns him into a level 11 guy. This is our uh, crest, by the way. A, a gold lion on a field of blue. <laughs> anyway, uh, hitting done. Saw our loot that we got from our battle. Looks like we got some wine and beer. Thing. Take it all. We have. Um, you can't read this, I'm sure. Our inventory capacity is one thousand three hundred and ten, and we are currently sitting at one thousand fifty-three. 
So that's why we have five sumter horses, three mules, and a saddle horse. Because that increases our inventory capacity. Get done there. Okay, let's go to the um, the city. Front gate. Oops. Okay, then we'll go to the tavern district. We'll ransom our prisoner for 40 extra gold. Sahara the leopardess. Wanderer. Talk to her. Edmund, it's been a while. I could use someone like you in my company. Very well, I'm going to need about 541 gold to settle up some debts. Can you pay? I'm pretty sure back when I first talked to her I couldn't, but right now I'm swimming in gold. Or probably in the Middle Ages it's dinars. So here you go. So now we've got another companion. The Hara, the Leopardess. That's kind of cool. So now, if rather than go into... um, Oh gosh darn it. Rather than go into uh, trade, look at this, this is where she's at. She's got five in vigor. She's actually better than I am there. Four in riding. And this is cunning. C and G, cunning. So three in cunning. She's got a hundred in roguery. Uh-oh. Little bit of a thief, perhaps. Throwing, sure. One-handed. All right, well, okay. Um... But we don't want to look at her right now. We want to look at us. We've got four in Vigor, one-handed. We've got to 50. We can either choose these two perks now, that we got up to 50. It's either... It would be Blunt or Swift Strike. Blunt increases your damage with axes and maces by 5%. Governed settlements gain 0.5 security by, per day. Um, Swift Strike, 2% increase in swing speed. Government settlements have increased militia recruitment. So security or militia recruitment for um, our ultimate purpose of getting a town and a castle. But I think we're going to do swift strike. I like that. 2% swing speed. It'll help us track down more looters. So hitting done. Hitting tab. Let's, before we do any trading, hit and freeze. Before we do um, any more trading, we're going to leave the town. Let's see if we can't do something about equipping our good friend, Sahara. We have to go into party, actually. Ara the Leopardess. Okay. Talk to her. Captain, it's been a while. Well, that was a bust. I think I need to go into inventory. That's what it is. Looking over to Zahara. He has a rusty iron flissa. Better than the rusty falchion I could give her. Head armor. Uh, the corn highland wrapped head cloth is better than what she was wearing. Is Probably better. Yeah, that's five body armor. No, it's not better. Corn padded. Tattered arm wraps, sure. Don't have any of those. So she needs some armor and probably a shield, at the very least. Give her back that. This is her civilian outfit. So, yeah. Looks like she comes from the Southern Kingdom. I forget the name of that kingdom. But currently she's a wanderer and she's just joined the party. So now, go back to the town. Go back to trade. We'll go over to, what's her name? Buy her some things. So, let's see. If I click on Fields and Ranged. I don't want to spend too much. Um... I only have now 6,800 gold. I don't think I really need to spend a whole lot. Weapon tier 1, the kite shield. Am I going to give her a horse? That's a very good 
I don't think she had any horse uh, points. But I'll give her... I'll make her cavalry eventually. So I'll give her the small cavalry... What's that? Small cavalry heater shield. 236. Got a, uh, a weapon. Weapon tier 4. Heck, that's better than the sword I have. Okay, now let's give her... Let's click on melee... Not... Melee weapons? Yeah, melee weapons. Not a lot of interesting stuff in here. Um, she's already got a pretty great sword. Uh, let's click on armor. That's the one. That's the play. Okay. <laughs> we can give her a bear head, but that costs 3,063. So, um... Let's... A highland fur... Shoulder fur? Island Cape? I like giving my, uh... I like giving my, um... My characters... Uh... Similar outfits for civilian. So that's... Janon the Boar civilian outfit with the Highland Cloak and Highland Tunic. And that's what I have. <laughs> so we're being Highlanders. <laughs> Let's see. Um, can we do better on the helmet? Can do a lot better on the helmet. Even the Highland wrapped headcloth is better. Highland hood. Highland thin hide coif for ten armor points. Wolf head. Wolf head is six. Pretty cool. <laughs> we'll give her the wolf head. Um, do we want to give her a horse? Can she ride a horse? Okay, she can. Need to give her a saddle. Look at that. So let's buy another horse. Um, just gave up a saddle. Buy another one. Another Sumter horse. Don't have any mules here. But I think she's pretty geared up now, at least to start. And then as we get better melee weapons, as uh, as the old what's his face here, Edmund gets uh, geared up, all of his hand-me-downs will go to either Tanon or Zahara. Um, she's a fighter, so she probably won't make a very good steward if I ever get a settlement. I don't know. I, there's a lot I'm still learning about this game, and I'm trying to chase down. I think Engolther. Person of Dunglanus, Militia of Dunglanus, Yarley's party. Talk to Yarley. Town. He's got 51. Can we talk to him? We can talk. I can't really talk to him. Um, Smithy. This is interesting. I don't have any uh, Smithy stamina. It's I've got currently 7 out of 100. I think it refreshes about a week. And all I've been doing is refining hardwood into charcoal and then smelting the various things I have for wrought iron and um, refined iron, I think it is. And I think that sells better. And it also builds up uh, blacksmithing points, which I want to have eventually. So that's that. That's kind of the state of where we're at right now. Um, we've got to find a noble and track down seven more kings and queens in order to figure out just what the heck we can get that Neritez's Folly quest done. We've been doing quests in the meantime. Oh, well, there's Yarly. Yarly, talk to me, buddy. I, I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. My name is Edmund, sir. May I ask your name? I am Yarly. As far as I know, we have no contract to fight you. Okay, well, good to know. So, it looks like these guys are not part of any um, clan that, uh, current empire. They're just kind of freebooting it. They're freebooters. Um, so, occasionally you run into, um, a religious group or these kind of guys, mercenaries. So, I don't have any, um, questions I can ask them related to my quest. I must leave now. This is a game that you play when you kind of want to take things a little slow. It's it's 
really much a it is kind of a medieval simulator. Medieval warband simulator, I guess. Go to Glen Lithrig. No quest. Egon of Glen Lithrig and D Derngill of Glen Lithrig. They don't have any quests for me. Could recruit some troops, but I'm not in the mood for that right now. Let's go to Torliad. Torliad. See what they have for us here. Take a drink of soda here. All right, no, no quests here either. All right, let's go to Bogbeth. Uh, what was this? I think we're in the Batanian Kingdom right now. I think the Batanians are green. There's some forest bandits. They're stronger than looters. There's only four of them, so I'm not bother with them right yet. Still healing up. Um, we've got. I think when we raided one of the uh, bandit hideouts, we got kind of injured. No quests here either. Gosh darn it! Yorig. Or can I ask Yorg about the uh, Pendraic banner? I've met him before. I cannot. Let's go to... Go to... Oritan. Oritan. Oh, here's here we go. Looters, 36. Yes, please. That sounds like a lot of loot. And we will steamroll all over this guy. Gained a skill point in medicine, and we're now at 10. Is there a problem? Not if you give up now. Not if not. Prepare to fight. All right. So, the game gets kind of repetitive. I could send in my troops to attack, but if you'd send in your troops, generally you lose a couple of guys. It's always better to attack. Kind of. If you are smart about it. You can keep the casualties to a minimum. All right. First things first. Put the archers on a hill. Arrows! Put you guys up here. Get moving. Face the enemy. Ready yourselves. Right. Inf infantry. Move out. Let's see. I want you guys to face, face the enemy. To them. I want you to form a shield wall. Don't form a shield wall. Well, let's let the arrows do the work. Uh, here they come. All right, men. Old. Old. All right. All right. Infantry. Let's have you guys. Um. Let's have you advance. Okay. Oh, cavalry. Charge. And this ought to do it. Ah. I missed him. Oh. Alright, we've already got runners. Okay. There's two down. Ah, 63. Come on. Gotcha. Aha! There we go. I think I hear my guys shouting somewhere. Where is he? One of the things about fighting in the battlefield, you can lose your, your guys if you're not if you're not careful. By lose I mean lose their position. Well fought, everybody. Okay, so hitting tab. We've gotten three renown, two morale. Didn't lose anybody. No dead, no wounded. Um, routed nine looters. Okay. Routed them. Routed them. So we've captured four. And generally, because they're just looters, they don't have any good loot. Right there, 
We got olives and fish. Grapes. Spiked mace. It's, uh, probably our most valuable item here. Rusty Thax. Dagger. So we'll take that all on. Let's see if we can't find some more nobility walking around here. <sighs> Villagers of Bogbeth. Name. This game is, uh, I guess, made by a studio that's based in Turkey. It's very interesting, in my opinion. Like, there is a lot of, uh, or some, um, historical basis for a lot of this stuff, and it's not necessarily based entirely in Europe. But anyway. Okay, in Spain of Drew Imor and Kaudigan of Drew Imor. Uh, no, there's nothing there for... Let's see if we another noble. Need more nobles. Party, what is this telling me? Oh, uh, I can... I can turn one of my looters and have him join the party. Right, if I click this button, prisoner. But I really don't want to do that. Um, because I think it really drops your morale. So they're, we're not going to be doing that. We don't recruit our prisoners. We ransom them. In the old game, and Warband, the first Warband. Okay, you are outside Ormafard Castle. You see the banner of Ekaron flying over the castle gate. Um, we're going to approach the gate and request a meeting with somebody. Let's request a meeting with Moranya. Hey. Who are you and what do you want? My name is Edmund, madam. I am Moranya, loyal servant of Durthert, king of the Vlandians. So yeah, I guess this reddish, orangey banner is the Vlandians. And here's our quest. Can you tell any can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendraic? I wasn't there. I know Ingolther has some thoughts on it. Okay. So now I'm going to hit click Engolfer. Never met him, I don't think. And he was near Sargot today. So if I click on Sargot, I can click track. And click to continue. Anything else? Nope. I must leave now. So we've gotten, we've marked Sargot on our map. And I'm pretty sure old what's his face, uh, Ekaron will tell us the same thing. Might as well talk to him just in case. So, does he know anything about the Battle of Pendraic? No. Like Moranya, he wants us to meet with Engolther. Okay, so hit back. Leave. Here it is. Sargot is way over here. To unmark Rodatan. Click on Sargot. And... Let's see if we can't find that noble. Ingolther. Trying to get, like I said, we're trying to get up to, um, well, clan tier 2. We're close. Pretty close. Trying to get, um, up to 8. 8 of 10. So, I like this game for its weird pace, you know? You go, you, you log on, you know, you play a battle, you fight a battle or two. You know, it doesn't move very fast. So, if you're looking for constant action, uh, this ain't the game for you. But, you know, you can kind of immerse yourself in it a little bit. You know, eventually I hope to own my own castle. At least more than one. I can pledge allegiance to one of the nobles. Um, I've been fighting a ton of looters lately. Here's the town of Pinconok. Come on. Come on, where are you at? Forest. Let's see if we can't track down some of these. By golly, they're headed in our, our direction. And hopefully, because they're all clustered together, if we catch the party of 11, 
we'll have it. They'll join up, and maybe we'll have a fight here. Come on, you guys. There we go. There we, yeah, we did it. So 11 plus 5 plus 11. 22, 27. One more than uh, our per current party, but of course we're all trained fighters and there are not. So this is going to be a cakewalk. Hit attack. Let's fight another battle. Hey. Nice open field. I'll put our archers back here, I guess. And then tell them to face the enemy. Soldiers! Put our footmen ahead of the archers. Have them uh, shield wall shields! to I don't know why I have my two horsemen as part of my footmen but that's okay archers come over here buddy forward You gotta be a little smart about it, because if this was a if this was an army, you definitely couldn't engage you couldn't engage the army like I'm doing the looters here, because they would cut you down. You have to apply a little bit of tactics. I better tell my footmen to charge. So, footmen. Infantry! At them! Charge. And here's some runners. I'm sorry, gentlemen, but it is a crime to loot four villagers. If you have a problem with food and whatnot, you must talk to the Lord. Beg for mercy. But the penalty in these lands for looting is... Just about what's going to happen to you right now. Really probably wasn't a lot of jails back then. But then again, it is a game, so... I don't know the exact uh, medieval history. No dead, no wounded, no routed. Um, five escapees, it looks like. No, five wounded, no routed. Don't think. And look, we have th the three parties. So, 11, 5, 11. Um, 1.6 morale and 2.2 renown. And it looks like we've also gained some points, but I forgot to look. So, prisoners. We'll take the prisoners. Alright. Let's just do a little look. See? Some dates. That will increase our morale. The food variety. If you click on uh, morale. What, what is it? Battle ready. Consumable item. 60 days until no food. Party morale. There it is. Party morale is at 65.78. Our base is 50. Recent events gives us plus 8.98. Personal, because they like me, I'm such a good guy, is uh, just 0.8. And food variety is plus 6. So if you have a variety of food um, to feed your army, because uh, an army marches on its belly, does it not? Um, that you get a mor morale a boost. Our party speed, based on you know the cavalry, the cargo, our prisoners, and all that stuff is 4.2 view distance is only 13.44 and our daily party wage spent in 309 a day so we'll take all that loot we haven't exceeded our inventory capacity and we are still headed towards sargo to find ingolther noble nobleman who can tell us a little bit about the Battle of Pendraic. I hope. Sea Raiders. Sea Raiders are fun to fight because they're pretty well armed and geared up. 
So, I might even try to get them. They're gonna run. Maybe they're not too hard to chase down. Chase them up into the hills. There we go. We have no quarrel with you. Look, Edmund gained a skill and point in steward and is now 71. Um, alright, we're gonna fight these guys. And I'm just gonna send in the troops. So, just a little boost in renown and morale. Um, a couple of prisoners. What did we get for loot? Just a single scarf. Gosh darn it. Um, I think I got Rusty Mail Chaucis, which is leg armor 20 from Sea Raiders before. I, I certainly didn't buy it. Villagers of Mag Arba. Inveth. And Eterburg. Look at this. Enoric of the Brotherhood. It's like a, uh, a group of pilgrims or... Edmund, it's been a while. So, these guys are not aligned to any kingdom. They're fighters. We could take them on. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, I'm worried about the consequences uh, for my reputation. Anybody have any quests here? Oh, Ulvard of Etterberg has an available issue. So you click on him. Landlord needs access to the Kaliak Commons. Kaliak is a town, I'm sure. You gotta be careful doing quests for uh, peasants and villages. Oh, look at this. There we go. Um, because you can upset the local lord if you do quests for his peasants. <laughs> I, sorry, I don't think I know you. My name is Edmund. I know you speak, Elvard speaks for many. I heard you need help with a problem. I have a bit of a dispute with Kaliok. I recently purchased the right to graze cattle from nearby pastures from a landowner there, but now some of the herders are making problems. <coughs> Excuse me. What's the problem? They claim that I don't have the right to graze there. The village land can't be bought and sold like that. But look, I spent silver. I won't get it back. Meanwhile, I can't afford to wait. I need someone to ride along with my herdsmen. And my cattle can graze. One way or the other, even if it means violence, I can't just let my herd starve. You or either one of your companions with some eight men should do the job. Either way, I'm willing to pay you 380 gold. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> All right, so I can get your herdsman to the pasture. Let's do this quest. Take a look at his village here. Patched roof houses. It's dark. I don't know if you can see, but there's little pinpricks of light in the whole of the sky. Stars. You can talk to... Oh, look, it's our, our companion. This is her civilian wear. This isn't a very interesting village. It looks like all of the houses and whatnot are over here. This is But anyway, I digress. Um Tab. Leaving town. Need to go to Kaliok. Is over here. Helpfully marked on our map. Not too far away, and maybe if we're lucky, here they are, herdsmen of Ulvard of Aetherberg. Maybe we'll run into um the disputants, those who claim that the herdsmen cannot graze there. Oh, 
Come now, my good man. Here we are, Kaliok. Going. Oh, here they are. These are the herders of Kaliok, engaging the herdsmen of Ulvard, of Aeterberg. So, let's go ahead and talk to them. Landia peasant, don't get involved in this. We've grazed our herds on these hillsides since our father's father's time. We don't care if one rich you-know-what gave a couple of bags of silver to another rich one. We don't care about title deeds or courts of law or any of that. Custom is custom, and we're not going anywhere. I have two options. I can say, calm down, you're right. No one has the right to sell your ancestral lands. These herdsmen can take their cattle elsewhere. Or I can say, you can take your grievances to your lord or to whoever sold the land. The law says a buyer has rights, and you need to clear out. So, I'll say the first one. It means my relation has increased with the uh, these guys, but decreased by five with these guys. And that means that um, you're a kind man, sir. You understand what poor folk like us are up against. So there we have it. Now they're going home. These guys. Um, guys are turning home too. So that's it. That didn't turn out as way as I hoped. Um, sometimes if you're lucky, you can get more uh, options. You can use your persuasion talents to uh, increase characteristics and qualities. So for example, if I hit the uh, letter N on my key, I bring up the encyclopedia. Of course, we're looking for, um, let's see, Galther, who was near Sargot. The owner of Sargot is Urthert of the Vlandians, I believe. But if I type in my own name, Edmund, there I am, Edmund. And you can see, uh, culture is Batanian, occupation, noble, age 32, clan, Brythodon. Edmund is a member of the Brythodon, a rising new clan from the lands of the Batanians. He has a reputation of being thoroughly conventional. So there you have it. It looks like my uh, highest skills is uh, one-handed with 51. And steward, your knowledge of what makes a settlement prosper. That's what a steward. This helps you manage an estate or administer a town. Well, I don't have any of that. But let's look up uh, Durthert. He is he's the king of the Vlandians. And you can see he has some qualities here. He has uh, minus one valor, cautious, but he has plus one mercy, merciful. So, and look at all these skills that he has. Holy, holy smokes! For all of his friends, let me type in Ingolther. There he is, Ingolther. Look at this guy, close-fisted, not very generous, honest, daring. But also cruel. He last seen near Golarin. Right. Golarin, which is over here. There's Sargol. How the heck did he get all the way over here? I'm gonna track him down though. I'm gonna turn off the tracking for Sargol. I'm gonna turn it off for Athkafal and Dunglanis. Various caravans, looters, villagers of Rodaton, Isfan. Let's talk to Isfan. We've been greeting a lot of nobility in our quest through these lands. Isfan, I I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. My name is Edmund, sir. May I ask your name? I'm Isfan. As far as I know, we have no contract to fight you. These guys might just be mercenaries. No uh, option to ask about my quest. I'm not going to bother with them. I'm going to go to Sargla. Going to oh, Golarin is being invaded. Go to the 
tavern district. Ransom our prisoners. Back to the town center. Go to trade. If I click on armor, all of my armor over here is kind of useless. I don't want to keep it. I'm just going to click the sell all button. Get rid of it. Look at this. Western loose headscarf. <laughs> I like those. If I put that here, I, I give it to Zara. Look at that. <laughs> what else can I give her? Western headscarf? I like this one. What else? Um, her Western hood. Scholar's robe. Oh yeah, a scholar's robe. Check that out. Western common dress, a Western noble dress. What is this? Oh, pretty. I like the scholar's robe better. Get rid of all these. You will get nine hundred and twenty-eight dinars. Damn, I got that bad tickle in my. Okay, Furinhard the Chandler, which is a candle maker. Artisans cannot sell their products in Sargoth. I'm not going to do this quest. If I talk to him, <coughs> what he'll tell me is that he's losing money and he needs somebody to sell his product even though it goes against conventional law. Now, I can agree to do that quest uh, who are you? My name is Edmund. I am sure and hard a craftsman, a working man. He speaks for a lot of the business owners of Sargot. I, he needs help with his problem. I work from dawn to late at night, but I can barely put bread on the table. Why is that? Because I can't sell my product at a fair price. The law says I can only sell to local merchants, and at a fixed rate too. So even when other prices are high, I'm making the same. How can I help? If you can deliver six units of sheep to my contract, contact Sevilar the Carpenter, whom you can find in Prevend, that would help me survive for a time. The merchants of the town would be furious and lodge legal complaints, of course. But hopefully you won't have to deal with that part. So, yeah. I'm not going to do that because, again, everybody in town will wind up hating me. So that's just not... Uh, something I want to do right now. I am not in a position to be making enemies. That's why we don't do those kinds of quests. But I am looking for quests in which I can go to, uh, say, for example, a bandit hideout and uh, defeat bandits, because then your reputation increases, especially with the local nobility. Um, but also uh, the person who gave you the quest. Also, pretty happy with that. But this little house on fire means that Golarin being invaded. Oop, Melidur's army. Armies are good to talk to because of so many people in Oop, oh, I missed the... Okay, talk to the army leader. Blue quest marker next to his... Melidur, I, I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. Edmund? I'm Melodir of the Finn Uvain, one of the ancient lineages of the Batanians. I am Lord of Kar Fansif. Hey, can you tell me about the Battle of Pendraic? Well, King Kaladog's great victory. Who would dare say anything to tarnish its shine? Hey, he actually knows something. The ambush, masterfully planned and executed. That none can deny, but I will not deny that the Sturgians fought the main body of the Imperial forces and the Vlandians fought their famous cavalry. So I don't think the greatest glory went to the sons of, the Bata of Batania. At the end of the day, what have we gained? Sergians hate us worse than ever. Vlandians too. The empire, I suppose, is shattered. What can I say? I believe that wars should have a goal, but I am a minority, it seems, among our people. Alright, so that gives us to 8 out of 10. So I'm going to leave. Now, click on him again. 
I could talk to other members. Look at all these nobles I could talk to. If I talk to, say, Louis Chan. Have I met this guy before? Beast you, stranger, what is your name? My name's Edmund, sir. I'm Louis Chan of the Fen Penraic, one of the ancient lineages of the Tanians. He's Lord of Omar and Theonan. So I'll ask him about the Battle of Pendraeoc. I wasn't there. I know Ergion has some thoughts about it. Okay. So he's telling me, find this guy named Ergion, who was last seen at Dunglanis. Dunglanis? Not too far away. And also, Der, uh, Ergion is not part of War Party. If I go back here, Dunglanis on way over here. I was looking for Balthor, I think. Ulleran. I talked to. Oh, yes. Ugh. I keep. There's so many names to track. To keep track of. I keep track of who I'm. I. This now. Did I gain a point in something? Yes, yeah, scouting. Scouting, tra-la-la. -la. I've got 25 in scouting. So I can choose to either be a pathfinder, plus 1% party movement speed during the day, or night vision, plus 2 party movement speed at night. Night vision, plus 2. Why not? We're always traveling at night anyway. So there we go. Um, that's good to know. This is our party. Have anybody ready to level up? Quest, 8 out of 10. So our latest uh, talk was with Melodier. There's Sejuron. He is raiding Golaron. Golarin. Right. Not going to get involved. Villagers of Gamar Gamardan. Wait until he's done raiding that party, I guess. Raiding the village. Really given Golarin what for? Savannah the Shield Maiden won the tournament at. Epic Rotea. Hey, dude. He's up on the village here. <laughs> Ugh. What'll happen if you raid a village? Oftentimes what'll happen is the lord of that village will rush to its defense. Suddenly there's a fight. I'm not seeing anybody. Come now. Sir, you've been beating up these villagers for a day or two. Have pity. Show mercy. Thoroughly engaged in up that village. Is there anybody at the castle? I'm going to say no. Look, Phaedon, he's sitting here. Phaedon doing. Phaedon. My name is Edmund, sir. May I ask your name? If you should ever find yourself in a position to hire warriors, consider the Legion of the Betrayed. You know what it means to honor your word and contract, as we have seen the price of breaking faith. Mercenary Army. Probably why they were just hanging out. I've done some quests for um, Af Athkafal, but let's go over there. Interesting. Is it a mine? There are quests here. There is not. All right. 
Fade on. Talk to him. I don't know what that's about. Go to Lanarkin Castle. If we can't find a noble to tell us where Ingolther is, tracking him down. Or Ergion. Villagers. A lot of looters, I think. With Danos, a hand. My name is Edmund. Okay, they are mercenary, so they don't really have a kingdom, and because of that, they won't tell us anything about the Battle of Pendraic. By my patron, a Finn Morkar, Titanian, can you tell me anything? Ergion! Hey, he is still at Dunglanus. <coughs> Another problem. Another problem with nobility is that <coughs> if these guys are at these major cities, there's a good chance there's a very good chance they're in the dungeon waiting to be ransomed. And you can't talk to them there. And you can't co complete your quests there, so... Quests in Lenoch N. What about in Imlach? Pretty sure uh, Ergion is probably in the dungeons of Dunglanus. Rindor of Imlach has nothing for us. So, let's go to Dunglanus. Villagers of Diantoga... Dianto... Diantogmail? I don't know how the names in this game work. <laughs> Very interesting. Interesting names! Okay. Don't have any, um... Prisoners to ransom. We do have a couple of uh, quests here we can do. Let's go to the keep. The guards say they can't just let anyone in. If I pay 575 dinars, I could get in. So let's do it. Oh, look at this! Dunglanus is governed by Ergion, the chieftain of the Batanians. Well, let's go to the Lord's Hall and talk to that guy. Excellent. Lord's Hall. Hall of the Batanian. Batanian volunteer. Find Ergion and ask him about our quest. Sitting down? Yes, he is. There he is. Talking to one of his soldiers? Batanian Oath Sworn. Ergion. My name is Edmund, sir. May I ask your name? I'm Ergion of the Fen Durngil, one of the ancient lineages of the Batanians. I am Lord of Dunglanus. I know your name. It's good to meet. Ah, my reputation has proceeded. Can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendraic? Ah, for a son of Batania, there will be no prouder moment in his life than that day. Son of Batania, anyway. Look, right before the battle, our High King, Aeril, disappears, and his adopted son, Kaladog, becomes king. Kaladog is the king of the Batanians. That sets tongues to wagon, you know? But let me tell you, old Aeril could never in his life won such a victory as did Kaladog that day. We waited for them like wolves in the wood. Their vanguard came up to the winding road. They came without archers to protect them. Kaladog blew his horn and our bowmen fired on them from all sides. They turned their shields one way and were hit from the other. A glorious thing to watch. When they were all good and addled like frightened sheep, running this way and that, the rest of us warriors descended upon them with our falcs' swords. I cleave this way and that. I took twelve heads. Mine was far from the greatest catch. Ah, the grandchildren tire of me telling this story. 
seems like a charming guy telling the uh, grandchildren stories of utter massacre. Well, thank you. It helps me get my quest. I can play a game with him, a game called the Bog Chow, but I don't I don't think I want to do that. These are little board games that you can play with the nobles. They're uh, easy to learn, difficult to master. Some of them might even be kind of broken. And I don't mean broken in the game. I mean, these games are so... There's like uh, tic-tac-toe. If everybody knows how to play tic-tac-toe right, nobody wins. <laughs> so, but anyway, uh, let's see. Um, let's look at our quest. That L? The clan window. Alright, we'll just leave. Leave the keep. That was a good, uh, good amount of money to spend. I think we need one more. We go to the dungeon. Look at this. There are no prisoners in the dungeon. I thought Ergion would be in the dungeon, but I guess I lucked out. Lord of Dungalanus. Alright, so now let's click on the quest. It's J. I just need dude. And that quest will be done. We received it 104 days ago. Oh. You can look for Ingolther. If I type in Ingolther, he has information. Near Thraktoria... Thraktoria Castle. Hit track on that. Goleran? Goleran? Factory Castle. Not actually too far away. We might actually do this quest today. Caravan of Agathuda the, of Silk Vendor. You can at some point, if you uh, are so uh, desirous, you can form up. Um, a caravan of your own you can buy at which point, at some point we will buy businesses in uh, cities <clears throat> like a brewery or a tannery something like that that could be a source of income for you you could also lose money on those things <clears throat> we're still just, like I said, starting out finishing the first Weird quest. Fine day. Look at this. Derthert's army. Let's talk to the army. Army leader? We've met this guy before. Been a while. Um, something I like to do is there's something I like to discuss. I have a proposal that may benefit us both. So now you enter the barter screen, right? <laughs> so if I wanted a desert horse, right, and I hit auto offer, it'll tell me that I could spend 590 do uh, dinars for it. Actually, not that bad. Um, I'm sure, I could get it better, a better price for it, in a town somewhere. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna turn down the gold. Um, I'm only going to give him five gold dinars. <laughs> and he'll accept it. You paid five dinars. So, you know, it's good to be the king, right? <laughs> you know, it's always a... Uh, it's a, You know, I've, I've, I remember watching an old mafia movie where they say, anybody can be tipped except a cop and a judge. <laughs> so... I figure if you're the king of something, it's always good to give a little gold uh, here and there, uh, a little treat. Maybe they'll look at you more favorably. All right, Fractoray Castle, we're here. Where, pray tell, is Ingolther? Nobody, nobody at the castle. But there is Finnegan, or Finnegan. Knock him down. Canyon, like. 
an eye out, turning up. Okay, Finnegan. This is a little bit of a weird one where they should keep a lot of this uh, information you know, that passes. They should probably put it up here. So it doesn't overlap this um, dialogue window there. We've never met Finnegan before. He is the Lord of Finn Pinraic. Uh, he's Batanian. Can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendrag? He knows that Ingolther has some thoughts about it. And he was near Cantrek. Let's track Cantrek. Eve? Cantrek squared. There was Thractoray Castle. Must have passed Ingolther's. Gone in the wrong direction. Total wrong. There's Minasur. Caravan of Lyra. Left first. Polarin. Caravan of Ergion the Factor. Which I believe is a fabric merchant. Help me. Hey. We have a caravan of Yalrul, the cargo master. Aaron's party. Egan. Talk to him instead. Edmund? Egan is of the Fen Uvein. Edrum. Edrum has some thoughts about it. Oh, okay. Edrum is seen near Usen Fulk. Way, way, way away from where we're at. So if I click on this, that is a major city opposite end of the continent. But this way over here. There's no, <laughs> there's no way we're going there. We're going. Eric? Empty? Is. Alter. Got Wrath. Erhan. Go to our encyclopedia. Alter. I definitely gonna try to track this guy down. And trek. One day I go. Around here somewhere. Headed this. If we had better uh, scouting ability, perhaps we'd find him by now. Oh, no quests. It is a new day. Here, ye unat now. So the day has shifted and time. Way the way heck over there past on Glanis. Getting closer. Turning on uh, high speed here. Going looters. Burning down the village of Naviansk. Possible. Already been. The Shorky, deep trouble. <laughs> the Shorky, um, has sixty one. He's being chased by an army uh, uh, of uh, like at least one, two, five, six, seven. Seven parties of 60. He is going to be spending time in jail. Right. Narok. Author.
Centaur. Centaur. Here. Part of the party here? Engulther in the party of Durthurt. Found him. Other members. There he is! Engulther! He's part of the army! Hey. That's close enough. Who are you? My name is... Look at this guy. <laughs> My name is Edmund, sir. May I ask your name? I am Engulther of the De Cortain, one of the most illustrious families in the annals of the Landian Kingdom. I am Lord of Charas. I think the Landians are based on, um, maybe Russia? Some, uh, some of the, uh, medieval, um, culture out that way? Don't quote me, though. Okay, can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendrag? I was there. I was just a young squire then. I have heard no sweeter music than the thunder of our hooves as we bore down on the Asurai rabble. We fell on them like a falcon plunges upon a rabbit. Ah, falconry. Yeah, favorite pastime of nobility. They had overextended themselves, chasing the imperial archers. Light foot before our knights, there was no contest. Let me tell you something. Nine-tenths of victory, recognizing when your enemy has made a mistake. Rash perish swiftly as the weak. Serve it just as much. Should have gone to, on to seize all of the Western Empire. If Durthurt had any manhood, uh-oh, don't insult your king, sir. We'd have done so. His heart was never in the war. He believed he'd broken his oath to the Empire by helping the Sturgians. Nod at him. He'd have made a fine lackey. Said he's our king. Aren't you a charmer? Wow. If you want more information, there are two people you might try to speak to. Istiana worked as a sort of unofficial spy master for Neritezes. He lives near Epic Rotea. Then there's Az Arzagos, who was his bodyguard. He's supposed to be near Maranath. I hear he's changed quite a bit since then. Is there anything else? Um, you know what? There's something I'd like to discuss. I have a proposal that may benefit us both. Here is five dinars for such great information. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now we have the next part of our quest. Finally did it. Got to meet with Istiana or meet and or and or meet with our that goes hit J quest. Currently at Epic Rotea. Back at Epic Rotea. Turn off a tracking for Husuk. Leave on Maranath, because that's where we have to go as well. Turn off. Back. Yeah. Closer than Epic Rotea, so let's go there. Maranath. Let's make all haste. Make haste. So the Empire, um, I think, is based on the old Roman Empire. The Roman Empire stretched way across Europe. It was huge. But then, of course, it lasted for like a thousand years or so. I'm not an expert. I don't know. Hey, we want to talk to Arzagos. He's in his house. So I'm just going to click talk to him. I, sorry, I don't think I know you. My name is Edmund, sir. May I ask your name? You probably are aware that I am Arzagos. I'm not sure why you sought me out, but know that my old life as Imperial Lapdog is over. Okay. So, who are you, and what brings you to me? I believe I have a piece of the Dragon Banner of Calradia. Is that true? Oh, that is interesting. You may have one piece of the banner, but it's of little use in, in itself. You'll have to find the other parts. Once you can bring together the pieces, you'll have something of tremendous value. How so? The banner of Calradios is part of a legend. It was said to be carried by, 
by Calradios the Great, who first led his people to this land, to conquer and despoil. The legend says that no army led by a true son of Calradios shall be defeated in battle. I'll be darned. Convenient legend, huh? Of course, the Calradians have been defeated many times, but I guess those were not true sons. Still, you could say it represents the strength and endurance of the Empire. Can you help me find a buyer for it? Buyer? I can help you do far more than that. So where can I find the other pieces? Before I answer, you and I need to know more about each other. I don't know what you know about me. I was a citizen of the Empire. I was a commander in the Imperial armies, but I am not Imperial. I am what they call Pelaic. Pelaic is a language that no, is no longer spoken, except by a few old people. Even the word Pelaic is Imperial. We are a people who have forgotten who we are. Okay. The Empire has a genius for destruction, destruction of languages, traditions, gods. It takes our fortresses, slaughters our men, and turns our children into its own children. Right, so the Empire is basically... assimilates large numbers of people from different backgrounds. He's saying it kind of uh, destroys culture. Nothing can bring the Pelaic people back. They are now Imperial, but, it's an in but is an insult to our name, to our gods, to our memory. State which destroyed our shrines and fortresses should last and thrive. I have vowed that this empire shall not survive this civil war. We can do anything to stop it. And believe me, if I had that banner, there is very much something I could do. I'm not sure I share your views. So, he wants to destroy the empire because of uh, the destruction of his culture, the Blakes. And, uh,. I think I want to talk to the other lady also. Use the banner to help him in that quest. And come, then you can come back when you have made up your mind. Hey. What else you got here, buddy? Carrots, cabbages, leek, fish, bread. Guy is really stocked up on stuff upstairs except a closed door. This bedroom. Fine tapestries. All right, let's go meet um, the the lady. What side? Where in town does he live? Nice ram's head above the door. If he lives. Thatched village, hutch. Ours. Townsman. And on the boar. Alright, it's time to leave town. Time to leave town. Let's go to... Was it? Marunath. We'll leave that... Epic Retea. Yeah, there it is. Another part of the quest. Turn on high speed. Flee from us. We're on a mission. We're not going to stop. Although 24 looters would be a surprise. But we have 18 golds, 1,800 gold still. Getting close to uh, running out, but... Hey, we want to talk to Ityana. Her house. We have to say... Hi, sorry, I think I know you. Ms. Edmund, madam, may I ask your name? I miss Diana. You probably already know that, though. Once I wielded great power, but now... Anyway, I am most curious about what you might want with me. Okay. So what brings you to me? Oh, she speaks. I believe I have a piece of the dragon banner of Calradius. 
Is that true? You may have one piece of the banner, but it's of little use in itself. You'll have to find the other parts. But once you can bring together the pieces, you'll have something of tremendous value. Value? How so? The banner of Calradius is part of a legend. Oh, yeah, they say it was ca carried by Calradius the Great. As he led his small band of exiles into this land to make a new home for themselves. They say that, so long as it is carried by a true son of Calradios, he shall never be defeated in battle. That's what uh, Arzagos told me. Or daughter, I imagine, although that has never come up. Of course, our glorious armies have been defeated many times, but I guess those commanders and are not true sons. Every little legend. Tribe could see through it if she tried, but of course, people never try to see through the noble lives that bind us together. Thank heaven for that. So you can help me find a buyer. Find the missing pieces. I'm sure I can find someone who'll take it from your hands. Yes. Where can I find the other piece? Before I reveal that information to you, I need to know more about your intentions. Uh, you need to know about your intentions. One could use the banner to restore the empire, but one could also use the banner to destroy it. I was a confidant of the old emperor Neretez's. Officially, I was not his spy master, as I am a woman. But that was the role I played nonetheless. I liked Neretez's. I was very grateful for his trust. But he was not a good emperor. Stubborn in principle. Probably should have poisoned him. Okay. <laughs> Twice to say that I know better than anyone about the lies and cruelty that kept the empire alive. All the murders I ever committed in ten years of serving Neretezes not amount to the death toll in a single hour when an army storms a town. Ow. The uh, one who's not to be crossed. As for our glorious history, let me tell you, any one of these petty kings and cons and sultans would probably just get lucky and conquer Calradian, Calradia and do as good a job of ruling it as we did. But the point is, we already did it. Our greatest crimes are in the past. Let us not undo what has already been done. So, if you intend to use the banner to save the Empire, I'll tell you what I know. But if you want to go backward, not forward, I will not help you. Okay, so this is the question. Do I save the Empire or do I destroy it? Hmm. I'm inclined to save it. I like putting things together rather than taking them apart. With a noble legend to back me up. <laughs> the dragon banner. But she does not sound like a nice woman. Perhaps, you know, uh, Arzagos is right. That empire was the thing that should have been destroyed. Was. I think it's better to work together, so I'm going to help save the Empire. Good. Then I will tell you what I know. I heard about one other piece. Okay. I do not know where the other pieces are. You may need to keep searching for them. Okay. When you have recovered all the pieces, return to me and I'll help you put them into use. To no. know. All right. So we've met with this Diana. We've promised to save the Empire of Calradia, and we need to find another banner piece for Istiana. If I click on J, met with Ar Arzagos. The dragon banner. There are three pieces. That make. Another banner. About this, if I promise to destroy the empire, he might help me find the other piece. Quite sure what to do. tell people what they want to hear or do I tell the truth 
always better to tell the truth, in my opinion. But this is um, politics. Throw some air punches. Well, now the J button. Find the hideout that Istiana told you about to get banner piece. Okay, so there's a hideout. Let's do the hideout. See if we can't get that other banner piece. This hideout is here out in the open. Still have uh, money, so. We don't have to worry. It's almost dark, which is good. Because you can only attack hideouts after dark. Filled with mountain bandits. Hey. Passing by the slopes of the mountains, you see an outcrop crowned with the ruins of an ancient fortress. Some armed men moving about as you listen. Quietly, you hear scraps of conversation about raids, ransoms, and best places to waylay travelers. I'm going to wait until dark to attack them. Guess what? It's dark. We will attack. Okay, so now we form our party. I don't want to take all of my Imperial Legionaries with me, because I also like to take my archers. Archers, they do a great job. I'll take Chen on the boar. One more. So let's do. That has a big. Sergian Wolfhednar. So. Gets a two handed sword. The warrior because he has a sheep. In the case they have archers, that might come in. Might be better. Okay, now, everyone, follow me. Go up this way. A gentleman. Rogue. Jim. Oh. Missed. 22 damage. Get in close. Ah. Got him. Got him. Hey. But he's still following me, which is good. I'd like to come up on this camp top. There's not a lot of uh, randomness. In these hideout attacks, you get one or three or four scenarios. Oh God. So, I I know that this is another place where the bad guy likes to hide across the river. Get the gentleman over here. 79 damage. Yes. 95. Taking him out. A headshot, even. Okay, they're still following me. Now, here is where they hide a little bit. See a gentleman over there. I don't see one. Somebody in the woods. Somebody by the river. See? Hey, hey! Another headshot! Oh, this guy. 43. 45. 46. Pretty good. Alright. We're getting kind of swarmed a little bit. 
So everybody, um, everybody charge. Nope. Everybody, charge. <coughs> okay. They're not going to be split up, I don't think, into two groups. That's when you get into trouble attacking a hideout. If your party splits up, you want to kind of keep them as a group. All right, we've got the last guy, so now time to fight the boss. Hey. I do not duel with the brigands, sir. Oh. oh. I hit I hit my guys. Hey. We won. 1.8 renown, 1.4 morale. Edmund has gained uh, a point in athletics and a point in archery. Hey. Bad. Brythodon clan has increased to tier 2. Excellent. We've captured the mountain bandit boss and a hillman. No, uh, no upgrades for our troop. That's okay. Getting done. Okay, rusty in rusty Western infantry axe. Your weapons. Six shields. Canadian horse har harness. Tattered wrap shoes. Pretty good shoes. Leg armor six. Armor tier three. Have probably you. Give it to Sahara. Now she has a rugged saddle. Her weapon tier is four. His weapon tier is four. Mine is also four. Three. All right. Relation has increased. We found the second banner piece. Find another piece of the banner for Isania. Okay, so do we return back to her? I, the hideout did not... Here. Click our clan button. We are clan tier 2. Additional clan party plus 1. Additional companion limit as plus 1. Additional party size for every party in the clan plus 50. Eligible to create a kingdom, plus one. Renown, 151. Next tier, 350. I think I need to get to clan tier four. Create a kingdom? Yeah. Clan tier should be at least four. Create kingdom. Number of towns or castles you own should be at least one. Edmund has a little leap. Change name. We can change our name here. I'm going to do that just yet. Character. Gain anything? Yeah, steward. We have a, a point to spend in steward. We can either choose between nourish settlement. Settlement's prosperity grows at quadruple normal rates while you are waiting there. Or warmonger. Less influence needed to summon vassals for war. Production from farms. I think warmonger is what we want here because i don't imagine that i'm going to be waiting around in a lot of my settlements when i finally have a town the warmonger is the skill for me close to anything else it looks like get a few more points in charm get more renown from battles or more renown for each issue revol resolved <laughs> this is Istiana again. Tell her we have the second banner piece. Captured it from the bandits. I 
Pacific Rote off. Okay. Yana. Edmund. You assembled the banner. Not yet. I'm working on it. Um. Something there? I guess I need to tell Arzagos what he wants to hear. Marunath. I guess I'll do that. I don't really want to lie to him. Glory of the Empire. Yeah. Hey, uh, I need a, a northwest, northeast, west, south uh, compass rose on my map so I know which direction I'm facing. I don't know which end is up. <laughs> map. Maronath here, tucked behind these mountains. Find um, a good looking of. Of mountain bandits or looters will attack them. Turn on high speed. Start attacking. Funny. Alradia is in a state of civil war. Send in the troops. No dead, no wounded, please. And on the bear has increased in one handed. We really need to, but he did. And got some more loot. Got about 200 more. 100 more. Gold. Back towards Manaf. Met her, but name's Beethag, but it looks like Beethag. Again, I don't know how the name generator works. Caravan of Pull, the Factor. We are. Arzagos. Late. Yes, I intend to use the banner to help destroy the Empire. Good, I will tell you what I know. I heard about one other piece. I do not know where the other pieces are. You may need to keep searching for them. When you have recovered all pieces, return to me and I'll help you put them to use. Okay, quest complete. Find another piece of the banner. Find another piece of the banner for Arzagos. Wants us to... Want us to... Where's that other piece? Get on it. That banner. I thought you were going to tell us. Like a hideout or something. There. Maybe it's next door. Let's attack the looters, because just turn daylight. I do something during the day. We wait for nightfall. Oops. Dead, no wounded. Beer and wine. Valuable here. Have her drop shoot. Go back towards town. Let me gain a skill point in steward and now seventy six. Oops. 
more looters. 187 gold. That little um, notice needs to stay up longer. Sturgeon warrior. We'll upgrade our warrior to a Sturgeon soldier. Good price. Rain, splintered pitchfork, the most valuable thing here. Farm equipment. Yes, back to Maranath. Back to Maranath, where we will sell our stuff. Okay, so I'm clicking on armor. Out it goes. Shields? No, we don't want shields. Melee weapons? Sell these separately. Falchions? The axe? The dagger? Else that gives us 1147. Alright, so now let's go back to the hideout. It's dark. And let us find that third piece of the banner. The might fall to the attack. Oh, we just missed it again! <laughs> Alright, well no no fooling around with looters. No fooling around with looters. We're just going to attack at nightfall. Okay. Alright, so down to three. We'll take in our archers. Those. Take uh chin on the boar. 161 in one handed. Um, take our soldier, the large shield, take, take one more uh, archer. Okay, and hopefully this will go well. Okay, I don't like this, um, really don't like this layout for the hideout because there's these guys in the center kind of hard to you can split up your army in which you get you into trouble ah! archers Fire at will. Yeah. Got him. They're still following me, so everyone go. into the camp. I, as your commander, I will hang back. One. Not bad. Doing it. Guys are in the woods hiding on the hill. Everybody, now it's time to charge. I miss. Hey! I don't fight duels with brigands. <laughs> Oh, 
why my shield is not working. Alright. Victory! 1.8 to renown, 1.4 to morale. Find another banner piece. 183 gold. Correct. Reinforced oaken. Better. I have, but it. Station is in case. Assemble the dragon banner. Uh, acquired. Okay, so now I hit quest. So you've collected all the pieces of the dragon banner. Now you can decide what you will do with the pieces. Return to Istiana or Arzagos to decide your path. Well, I've already kind of decided it's going to be Epicrotea. We're going to put the Empire back together. Back to Epicrotea. Sorry, Arzagos. Told an untruth. Thousand probably should stop in Aronaf. Go anywhere. To lighten our load. Okay, so if I go to the tavern district, ransom the prisoners, trade, click on armor, don't want to keep any of this. Click on shields, all of this stuff. Yeah, it's gonna go. Melee weapons. By value, the axe can go, horse, horse hatchet can go. That's good for now. Let's check our food. We have 32 grain, 28 fish, 6 olives, butter, 1 wine, 1 beer. Our, our variety. We'll buy some grapes, we'll buy some dates. Buy some meat. There we go. So we will get 468. Okay, I think now we're ready to go back to Epic Rotea. Our banner. What, if anything, Istiana has to say. Or not? Okay. A, a lot of people have been talking about how fun it is to play Crusader Kings 3. I've never played any of those kind of games. I don't know what they're like. I should probably watch them on uh, the old Twitch. Go around the town of Seonon. Go through the pass. The pass. Sahara the Leopardus has gained a skill point in writing and is now 14. Party. Edmund is at 78 heal. I knew better how to increase skills, but I think you just have to put the time in. Got all my skill points spread out. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. But you know, that's an old-fashioned way of playing games. It, you know, it used to be you couldn't go onto Google <laughs> and figure out how the best way to, uh, I think they call it min-max. kind of had to go with what you wanted and what you felt like. And maybe that's a little better. Maybe that makes it more immersive. Because the character you build is truly going to be your character and your unique experience. The problem is, is that some games, obviously can't win unless you min max <laughs> so if the game is little um i don't know if the right word is not unfair but if it's kind of set up to where it makes it really difficult to play your own style then yeah that that's a little bit of an unhappiness there but if it's a little bit more forgiving then yeah you totally want to uh this we're gonna get a I'm back. 
I think it's good to choose your own style of play. So 16, 19, plus another 6, 25 to our 26. These guys are mountain bandits, so they're a little tougher than just your average loot. We're going to, going to actually enter this um, battle. We're going to set up our archers on the hill. A hill. Uh, how about right here? Oh, man! Move out! Ready yourselves! Face the enemy. Soldiers! Okay, soldiers here. Move. And the horse. Cavalry. And them. charge. Boy, that guy just went down hard. Okay, cavalry. Soldiers. At them. Charge. I guess the uh, mountain bandits are a little bit more disciplined. They don't run away as quick as quickly as looters. Right. We, we did it. No, no dead, no wounded, no routed. And we gained a point in tactics, I think. Prisoners. I'd really like to do. Got some valued stuff. Tattered wrap shoes. Axe, these high value stuff. So I'll also rain. Bad, not a bad, bad battle. Epicrotea. Edmund gained a skill in, in steward in 77. Tactics is 35. What I'd like to do is I'd like to get this perk unlocked one step ahead, which allows you to place your troops for all battles. That way I could place where I want <laughs> the archers to be before I engage in a battle. That would be cool. Put them up. <laughs> Okay, let's talk to Ithiana about the Dragon Banner. Banner of Calradios. Gathered all the pieces of the Dragon Banner. What now? Impressive. Most impressive. Well, things will get interesting now. I need you to embroider a proper legend. I need. I will need to embroider a proper legend about you. Divine omens at your birth. That kind of thing. For now, we can call you Banner Lord. Who brings down the wrath of heaven on the impudent barbarians. Now there are two paths that lie ahead of you, my child. Create your own faction to win our civil war, or you can support an existing one. How do I create my own? Create your own faction, you must fulfill some conditions. The clan must be independent. Must be well-renowned. Must gather a considerable number of men. You must own an imperial settlement. Find me when you are ready. Thank you for your precious help. So we've done it. We've become, or we will become, a banner lord. Thanks to this cunning lady's help. Uh, and a banner, a dragon banner. Which, for some reason, was hanging out with the bandits. Now, if I click on my quest... Collected all of it. Created an imperial faction. Okay, so here it is. Create an imperial faction. Port one. But we can create one by improving our clan tier. We need a hundred troops. We're independent. We need to have settlement. So 
I think the first step would be probably the... And we're one quarter of the way there. <laughs> but, and that will be hard because, of course, um, I, I, other people already own, <laughs> already own, uh, you know, stuff, so think about that. Some more prisoners. Trade. Sell all of our armor. Sell all of our... And we will sell the falchion. And the spiked maces. Sell infantry axe. Bird axe. And I think that's it. So 1320. We're up 4,000 gold. And I think that's it for today. I think I've played enough of Banner Lord. I've actually assembled the Dragon Banner. So, yeah. So, anyway, thanks for watching, y'all. Um, probably it's not the most exciting game. There's nothing. There's sometimes there's a lot of nothing happening. Um, but. I enjoy it. You know, I, I do need to start fighting uh, big guys. So maybe future, future episodes of this will have me do it. But yeah, Edmund. Bannerlord. Not bad. Not bad. Right, so I'm going to switch this. think I'm gonna say thanks y'all for watching I really appreciate it um, hopefully it wasn't too boring uh, if you like this sort of thing consider subscribing um, but if not that's okay okay see you later bye bye have a good one